Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry. Today's lesson is 9.2, using properties of matrices. Use properties of matrices. So, write a matrix to represent the point or polygon. So we are going to write a matrix to represent the point A. So a matrix is just a fancy um, way of writing the coordinates. So A is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And then up and down, nothing. You have to get into the elevator before you can go up or down. So you're going over to negative 4, up and down, nothing. And the fancy way of now writing this is a matrix. So your matrix is always your X and then your Y. So you're just writing it vertically. So your point, negative 4, 0, is being written like this inside of these brackets. And it just makes you look smarter. It's a nice way of organizing it when you have multiple points. So if we were doing A, B, C, D, it's going to literally organize all four of these coordinates into a nice chart. So looking over at B, you get into the elevator before you go up or down. Negative 1, comma, 2. Right, Kiana? Right. And then D is 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 1. And over here... We have our C at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So we would organize this into a chart. We would have negative 4, 0 in our first column. Our next column would be negative 1, 2, 4, 1, and then 3, negative 1, just like this. So this is point A, B, C, and D. And that's how you organize all of this data into one chart. And because it looks different, it makes you look really smart. Write a matrix to represent triangle ABC with the following vertices. So you would just literally go A, 3, 5, B, 6, 7, C, 7, 3, and that's it. How many rows and columns are in the matrix for the hexagon? So how many rows? Anybody? Two. One row? Two rows, right? How many columns? One, two, three columns. Three points, three columns. That is a typo. There are two rows, there are three columns. One, two, three. All right. And anytime you're listing rows and columns, you always do it like an L. So this would be two by three. This is a two by three. Two rows, three columns, like an L. All right, so we are going to add these matrices. So five plus one is how many? Six. So in our top left corner, we're going to put a six. Negative three plus two Negative 3 plus 2, negative 1. Nine plus 3 is our 12. And then negative 9 plus negative 4, negative 13. Do you guys see how you're literally taking the top left corner with the top left corner, adding them, and they are going to be the answer for the top left corner. So you're adding them in the same position. And right here, this is your answer. I want you guys to take a minute to try um, B. This one is subtraction. Don't forget to use your subtraction symbol. I'm going to pause the video. You should pause the video as well and attempt B. All right, so 6 minus 1, top left corner, 6 minus 1. 5, top middle, 8 minus 7 is 1, 5 minus 0 is 5. Sorry, why, why did I say 8 minus 7 is 1? It's 8 minus negative 7, bam, bam, 8 plus 7, right? 8 minus negative 7, not 8 minus 7, 8 minus negative 7, bam, bam, 8 plus 7, right? Keep, change, opposite, 8 plus 7 is 15. On the bottom row, 4 minus 4, 0. 9 minus negative 2, bam, bam, 11. Negative 1 minus 3, negative 4. 
Here's your final answer. The matrix 1, 1, 5, 0, 3, negative 1 represents triangle ABC. Find the image matrix that represents the translation of triangle ABC, one unit left and three units up. Then graph triangle ABC and its image. Okay, so it's going one left, up three. So you're taking your original. This is your A, your B, and your C, right? And now, what are we doing to it? We are doing a translation, right? And what is our translation? One to the left. If I'm shifting one to the left, that's left and right, right? One to the left is in the negative direction one, and that's affecting your X or your Y. So you're taking your X and you're subtracting one. What are you doing to the Y's? You're going up three. Right? So this is what you're doing to it. So if I take my x values and I go left 1, 1 becomes 0, 5 becomes 4, and 3 becomes 2. And then my y's are going up 3, so 1 becomes 4, <coughs> 0 becomes 3, and negative 1 becomes 2. And now my a prime, my b prime, and my c prime, my images, you put the little apostrophe to say the image or the prime, right, the image, of this. This is my pre-image. After this translation, I'm now here. And then they also wanted you to graph them. So here's my original, here's my um, image, my pre-image and my image after I had done all of this, after I went left one, up three. Add this polygon matrix for the pre-image to find the image matrix. All right, so negative 1 plus 1 is going to give me negative 1 plus 1, 0. Negative 1 plus 5, 4. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. And there is our image matrix. Point A or A prime is at 0, 4, B prime is at 4, 3, and C prime is at 2, 2. In exercises three and four, add or subtract. I want you guys to take a minute to attempt number three. I'm going to pause the video while you guys try. So looking at this first problem, negative three plus two is going to be negative three plus two is negative one. Seven plus negative five is two. And our answer should look like that. Go on to the next one. One minus two. We have a two by two, so we're going to have a two by two answer. One minus two is negative one. Negative four minus three, negative seven. Three minus seven, negative four. Negative five minus eight, negative thirteen. The matrix 1, 2, 2, negative 1, 6, 1, 7, 3 represents the quadrilateral JKLM. Write the translation matrix on the image matrix that represents the translation of four units to the right and two units down. Then graph JKLM and its image. All right, so this is our J, K, L, and M. This is our pre-image, so we're going to just copy this straight down, right? Just repeat it. And then what is our translation matrix? So we are going... 4 to the right. If we're going to the right, it's, ex it's affecting your x values, and that's going towards the positive number. So you're adding 4. So you're going to put positive 4s or plus 4s to your x's. And then your y's, you're going down 2 or negative 2. All right, so right 4 in the positive direction 4, left and right, right 4. 
and then down 2. So when you apply these, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10, 4 plus 7 is 11, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And this is your um, image. So this is your pre-image. This is your translation matrix, and here is your image. It has those nice little primes to say, I am the image, after this rule was applied. Do you guys remember how we used to write these rules? It used to be x comma y becomes x plus 4 comma y minus 2. This is a rule. This is the same thing as this. It's the rule written in a matrix. And then you graph them. Here is your original. Here is your image. How do I know? Because it has the apostrophes. All right, so now we're going to switch over to um, some animated math activities. But I'm going to do this on a second recording so that we have enough time. So um, stay tuned for part two. Just go to our next video and subscribe if you like our videos. Thank you so much and have a great day.